almost fell off but super excited to be leaving these stairs because our next destination is Dumaguete Dumaguete Spaghetti uh, so we'd go to Luluan Port and then take a ferry across man we are just island hopping like crazy but put up with the pain one more time I think this is the first time we're actually doing these stairs upwards with the backpack on so expect us to get super saiyan legs by the end of this <laughs> Oh, the voice. Can you hear it? Oh, magalenka ko ya. Magalenka. Yung voices mo. This voice was heavenly. Tender Express 5. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. It's an enemy. So we are actually going to try to walk it to our um, little pad here in Dumaguete as opposed to taking a tricycle. Because we broke! Because we broke! <laughs> so it's a 19 minute walk. After all those stairs that we took in uh, Oslo, this should be a um, good adventure, huh? As always, morning! <laughs> so we got super ambitious, so we decided to take a jeepney instead. Because someone got the directions wrong. Hey! <laughs> yeah, Gary, Google Maps did lie to us. They said it was only 20 minutes away. But um, we're actually one hour walk away. Gary is super excited because it's our first jeepney ride. <laughs> It's like super cheap. So this is probably the best way to get around Philippines. Just to grab one of the jeepneys and then um, pay the driver as soon as you're almost getting to the um, destination. Convenient stuff. So goes our first successful jeepney ride. Thank you. Bye. Salamat. How'd you find it? Uh, good. All right, let's go find our hotel. Whoop. And our new room. And that's practically it. We're only here for one night anyway, so it's still going to be pretty good. Oh, it smells nice in here though. Mm. Mm. Erica's first lumpia experience. Lumpia is essentially like a fried spring roll, but Filipino style. Big ass chicken, pork sisig, and obviously rice. I mean, what Filipino can go a day without rice, right? We're going to be chilling out with awkward turtles tomorrow. Actually, we're going to be the awkward turtles tomorrow, so... Yeah, if you guys ever have the time to do so, look up turtle teeth. It's probably one of the most scariest things well, I've ever seen. Oh. All my basketball homies here in the Philippines. They're saying that they love us. I feel like this is a um, unreciprocated love because I didn't say anything back. Unrequited love, unreciprocated. Unrequited? Unreciprocated. Either I'm gonna probably get myself run over if I keep vlogging. So I'm probably gonna stop now. Five o'clock in the morning and we're packing up for April Island today. Are we getting out? Hala hala. I wish we had hala hala this morning. Look at these trees though. an incredible surplus of coconuts here in Philippines. Yeah. You can see his ribs. Oh, there's a horse. Oh. Yeah. G'day. You know, I'm actually getting nervous around uh, all these coconuts being above my head, to be honest. I've heard so many stories about them falling. Oh, it's windy, there's coconuts everywhere. <laughs> you can drop it anywhere, man. Drop. Just ruined my whole day. Alright, it's time to get a hustle. We need to hustle one of these boatmen to get us to Ape Island. 2,000 pesos only. 2,000 pesos only? Okay. Alright. So grand chariot awaits. I'm just here as a moral support unit. You've got this, guys. Sea 
lake. Crazy. Oh yeah, word of warning, if you guys are ever going to take a pump boat to Apa Island, just be sure to go naked because you're just going to get soaked. Some keyboard because you put your things over there. Boy Junior is going to show us around this island. Oh yeah. Contemplating whether or not she should pee in the ocean or not. How then I have to go back in the ocean and not look sus. Yeah. Still, what I'd just pretend you're snorkeling, just be like, oh yeah, I'm just, just here, just minding my own business. Oh, okay, looks like I'm done already, and then come back to shore. <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't so cold, we'd go in again, but we probably saw around a good solid at least six turtles as soon as we got into the water, so. Apa Island, you really do live up to the name. If you're not confident swimmers, be sure to buy um, some water shoes or rent some water shoes for 100 pesos because there is a buttload of sea urchin. There was one that I saw almost as, two times the size of my fists. How often do you guys see a puppy taking shelter on a beach underneath a rock? One more thing ticked off our bucket list. Apa Island, you've been incredible. Next up, Bohol. Ooh, 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 ooh.